Trying the KFC loaded fries and David was scandalous. David was scandalous? David was wild? D David! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. This is a Bernice, everybody's big sister, who is wearing one earring because she has a baby who pulls on everything. Okay, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome if you're new. Make sure you join my sister squad to become a member. Subscribe, get notified, and make sure you don't leave that commenting because that's just what we do around here. Listen, I thought, let me do this intro real quickly. As you can see, started off this vlog at Middleburg Mall. I did some light shopping for my baby, really needed some supplies for him, like wipes and stuff, and then got some fruits and snacks as well for him. So yeah, back home now, also got a few ingredients to make dinner. I was craving pasta tonight, so I decided, let me make, buy some ingredients to make some pasta. So I'm going to make some creamy chicken and mushroom pasta for din din. I hope they like it because I have some really picky eaters around here. You know, when your parents get older, they really become childlike. They become picky with their food. Every little thing, Jay, they nitpick, so I hope they like it. So I thought, let me vlog my cooking. I haven't cooked in a long time. So I thought it would be refreshing for you guys to see me do regular things as well at home. So let's go cook some pasta. Okay, enjoy. Hey, somebody. Amy. darlings it is the next day it is morning i just put the baby down for his first nap of the day i'm really crossing my fingers that it's a long one so that i have time to do what i'm about to do i want to deep clean my room um obviously i had a really busy weekend so i didn't have time to clean up and also on saturday morning when i was preparing to leave i made a huge mess because i was obviously looking for things i was doing my makeup and all of that and then on sunday i kind of had a lazy day so i didn't tidy up the way that i needed to tidy up so i want to do that real quickly while he naps hopefully he naps long enough for me to do this and to have time to take a bath because i'm still in my night dress as you can see there's lots to do i haven't made my bed i'll show you guys my vanity area it's disgusting okay because i did my makeup in a hurry and everything is all over the place but yeah this is my time to really get things tidy so i'm gonna stop yapping and make sure that i get things done hopefully vlogging doesn't delay the process of getting done because i don't know how much time that i have but i want to show you guys um as i clean okay let's do it this is my life currently also wigs guys i'm a wig i'm going to say look at this this is hair like it's all over the place i was um sweeping right now and it was all over the show so yeah let's tidy up this is what it looks like right now complete mess oh so these are from word feast our first task i think or second task was to write down the promises of god on these sticky notes and paste them where we will see them frequently so that we never forget 
what he has promised us in his word and i love it because saying he's asking your candle is his phone doesn't candle so i actually ended up deep cleaning my room the previous day but i couldn't vlog for you guys because my child woke up 15 minutes after his nap really and so i decided to put him on my back and clean but vlogging would have been pretty much impossible so unfortunately i didn't vlog for you guys but at this point my room was clean i was just making up my bed in the morning and um tidying up
darlings it is the next day it's morning like i said fortunately my child decided to sleep a little bit longer today thank god i'm so happy so i was able to tidy up my room i cleaned yesterday and today i was just tidying up properly and i had time to do my morning devotion thank you god these days his nap schedule or he's going through a sleep recession regression not recession so he's a little bit unpredictable so i'm unable to do my mornings the way that i've typically been doing them and it makes me feel so bad but today at least he's sleeping so i was able to sit down and read the word it is valentine's day as i'm vlogging so happy valentine's day or belated valentine's day whenever you do get to see this one so obviously love is in the air and i was like you know what the greatest love of all is the love of god so i was meditating on romans 8 verse um 31 going down and it talks about how nothing can separate us from god's love and i've always known this verse but it really um, hit home during word feast i'm going to talk about word feast probably for a really long time um but yeah it really hit home during word feast because we were talking about things that separate us from god's presence or make us not want to spend time with god or things that um don't edify or make our spiritual lives like decline right so we were studying with david the life of david okay not his whole entire life but a, a few aspects of his life and some of the things that happened in his life that made him or that should have made him um separate from god but he didn't oh guys with david une. david has scandals david was scandalous david was wild D david 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 david, david was mm, Anyway, let me just talk about this particular one. So we were studying a few things, but we we actually read about when he um slept with Bathsheba. So if you do not know this Bible story, let me brief sum, summarize it for you. So David was a king at the time. His soldiers went to war, right? So David was chilling at his house, like on the rooftop, like on his balcony. I don't know, like maybe behind the balcony, maybe and but basically he was chilling there, maybe having sun down. I don't know. So he sees Bathsheba, a beautiful woman, bathing like from far away, and apparently he was lustful of her. And he had intercourse with Bathsheba and got her pregnant. So obviously, this is someone's wife, okay? And the husband is at war, fighting for the tribe of Israel, fighting for that very same David. That very same David went into his wife, but okay, fine. So he realizes it's okay, this girl is now pregnant and I'm the baby daddy, but I don't want to be the baby daddy. So eating it, punch, coat. So he tries to orchestrate um, so that Yuria, but she was husband comes back from war early so that he can come together with his wife so that he can assume understand so yuria does come back but yuria refuses to sleep with his wife because he's an honorable man thinking would you know people are out there fighting for my country people are out there fighting for my tribe and i'm here enjoying life with my wife like he was honorable so david orchestrated for yuria to be go back to war but to be killed at war imagine that very same David that we say defeated Goliath. This is the very same David. And so obviously things fall apart. Um, 
Yuria dies, David takes Bachiba as his wife, but the baby dies. And it's just all drama and stuff. But immediately, David, when he realizes it's actually here, I've screwed up. David does not now stop worshiping God. David does not now condemn his, himself. But he goes back to God and he says, hey, yeah, wrong. I've done something horrible. The Bible says that he wept. He fasted, he went with sackcloth and whatnot, and his baby died. He pleaded, he pleaded to God that his baby be saved, and the baby died, right? So after the baby dies, which was obviously horrible, and it's, a, it's like a big consequence for the sin that he committed, David gets up, he puts on his normal clothes, and he goes and eats, like carries on with his life. And the Bible says that the people around him were like, I thought he was going to be sad. I thought he was going to mourn i thought he was gonna and he said what else can i do and it was like okay this is such a learning curve because sometimes when we sin or sometimes when we do things that are not honoring god we condemn ourselves so much to the point where we can't even go back to god because we are scared of it we are scared to confront the sin that we created or the sin that we performed or whatever, however you want to put it. We condemn ourselves and, and sometimes we end up not even having a relationship with God anymore because we have judged ourselves even before he has judged us. But David, over and over again, every time he sins, he immediately goes back to God. He doesn't, I don't know, obviously the Bible doesn't give us a timeline, but it, to me, it seems like he quickly repent he quickly says god i admit my prop i admit my mistake please forgive me and god does not go without giving him the consequences of his sin but god every time makes sure that out of that darkness comes light because out of that situation with Bathsheba, king solomon one of the most notable kings also in the bible was born so <clears throat> Yeah, this is just a lesson to come back to God. Like nothing that you could have done would ever separate you from his life. Going back to um, Romans 8, nothing, death, uh, life, calamity, poverty, nothing, no sin can even separate us from God. Because the Bible says that he has already given us right standing with him through Christ Jesus. Christ was condemned. Christ was the one crucified so that we can easily come back to God whenever we need to come back to god however many times we need to come back to god so if you are in a place of darkness and you feel like i don't deserve um to pray i don't deserve to read the bible i don't deserve god's love you cannot earn it number one and you there's nothing that you can do for him not to love you so yeah i thought let me share it because it's valentine's day and some of us are condemning ourselves because certain things maybe they're not going well or whatever mistakes that we've made but before you can shower anyone else with love you need to show yourself a little bit of grace and a little bit of love okay so yeah happy valentine's day i love you okay i may not know you personally we may not have never met but i do love you and i know that you love me too that's why you're watching right i hope so <laughs> anyway it's in your case guys my child is napping hopefully it will be a long one so i'll be able to do what i need to do okay stay tuned Fries. I didn't think the packaging would be so small. I didn't think they would be this small. For 32 Rand, I feel scammed. <laughs> but I'll tell you guys how they taste. You all forgot. Fuck up plenty of champagne. Cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and your girl in that little bitty range. I heard that. She wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga don't approach up with that Atari. Nigga that ain't good game home is sorry. They say conversation. I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real. P.S.
fragrance. Hold up, guys. Just came to show off my beautiful Style Zero and Do personalized bottle, the one liter. So cute. We also have the two liter. It's not mine. It's Vuyiswa's. But basically, if you want to reach your water drinking goals, do it in style via style 013 okay <laughs> and if you buy this big one you get the small one for free sounds like a good deal right i know anyway guys <laughs> we have reached the end of this vlog mm. i go shisi, i go shisi, empty back i wonder how pretoria people are doing like pretoria you are in my prayers because what i saw last week was literal flames like i'm literally praying for you guys it's so bad anyway i realized that this was actually a chilled vlog at home which is nice it's refreshing we didn't go out and waste money this week thank you baby jesus <laughs> but yeah it has come to an end um, i took off the blonde hair because i was like really tired of it it doesn't take glue very well like like it's a nice lace but it's like a very light lace so it doesn't take a lot of glue very well so every time i refreshed it it got like cakey and it wasn't sitting nice anymore so i was like let me remove it also i was just like wanting to breathe but anyway guys i really ho i hope that you enjoyed this vlog i hope that you're doing well i hope 2024 is treating you well so far i hope you have started to work towards your goals and your vision for this year and i hope that you're doing a okay thank you so much for watching this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe you watch all the way here make sure that you don't leave without commenting drop a little heart drop a little bouquet of flowers drop a little star drop a little something just to make me feel your love i love you so much you guys and i will see you in the next vlog <laughs>